What you're going to need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. Crayons will work. You're going to divide your paper up into six sections using five curve lines. Oh. There you go, you can see it. One, two, three. Here is my fourth line and my fifth line. Go ahead and pause this video so that you can break your paper up into six sections using five lines. We'll wait right here. Next, you are gonna write some words. First, you're going to write I am, A-M, I am. What do you think we're going to write next? Remember this week we were talking about our art mantra? And mantra is a fancy word for something that you say again and again. I am positive. P O S I T I V E. Remember, pause this video if you need me to slow down a bit. I am positive. Who knows what's next? I am C. R E A oh, pencil T I, V, E. Oh, my pencil keeps running out of lead. V and E. I am creative. I am M, I, N D F U L I am mindful. Remember, pause the video if you need to catch up. Next line, you're going to write a M A Z I N G. It will be tricky to try to fit the whole word, but I know you can do it. And the last word is A R T I S T. I am positive. I am creative. I am mindful. I am amazing. I am an artist. Now it's time to add color. You can see that the lines from the letters have created different spaces. You want to color in each one of those spaces a different color. You can see I'm using crayons and I'm using a technique of first outlining the shape and then filling it in with color. I'm coloring one way and then sometimes I'm coloring the other way just to make it nice and dark. Let's see, I did it oh, one way and then the other way. Some of the colors are dark enough and I press really hard, but sometimes after I outline, I color one way and then the other, as you can see right there. I also have a piece of scratch paper underneath what I'm working on. This way, I don't get it on my table. 
And first I'm outlining, then I'm coloring in one direction, and then coloring in the other direction. When you color in one direction, and then you color in the opposite direction, that is known as cross-hatching. When you do that, it makes your color a little more bolder. You could also use pressure on the crayon to make the color pop out a little bit more. When you hold the crayon lighter with the lighter pressure, it makes the color a little lighter. That's all you want to do is just color in each one of those negative spaces a different color. Those of you who are in first grade might notice something very familiar about the way that I'm doing this project. Remember, you did this with your name. The fun thing about art is once you learn a certain technique or a style to do something, you can use that knowledge to make a different piece of artwork about something totally different. Remember you had your name and the secret message? Now we're using that same idea for our art mantra. You can see I'm still coloring by outlining the shapes and filling them in, coloring in one direction and then the other. I love all the shapes that each of the lines have made. And each shape is very unique and different than the one before. When you're picking your colors, look around and see what color you've used before and which one you can use again. And look at the top and see that it's not close to the other one. I kind of look around and see when was the last time I used that color and if I'd like to see it again. When artists make art, they try to repeat different things and different elements. And here I'm trying to repeat different colors. Be sure when you're done to hang this picture up somewhere where you can see it. It will serve as a great reminder that you are an artist. Don't forget to clean up when you're done.